They're loud, they're colorful, and they are totally loyal to the Indianapolis Zoo. You're going to want to meet the macaws, a free-roaming exhibit of beautiful birds. Yeah, the zoo has expanded its conservation efforts by letting all of us get up close to see them. Yeah, they let the macaws out of their enclosures to fly freely across the zoo, and so far, it's a big hit. The sky is going to be filled with rainbow-colored macaws. The kids may be out of school for the summer, but conservation class is in at the Indianapolis Zoo. So keep your eyes to the sky, and also keep your ears open, because these birds are extremely loud. They make a grand entrance, 50 macaws, some of them close to extinction, wowing people at the zoo's new bicentennial pavilion. That's awesome. We love it. It's really cool. We really, uh, I don't know, it's just really awesome. The kids love it, and they love birds. They love Rio, so that we had to come check this out. It was really awesome. Awesome and forward thinking. Imagine zookeepers opening the enclosure doors, tempting the birds with freedom several times a day. Yet for two months now, they've come back home every time, and we wanted to find out why. You ready? I'm ready. Come on in. All right. Keeper Tim Van Loan has been with the macaws since they were hatched in Orlando a year ago. No one knows them better. These are, birds are all parrots, they're all macaws, um, but not all parrots are macaws. Macaws are the largest types of parrots. They are also among the most intelligent, curious birds, all with distinct personalities. Oh, oh, here. They tend to form tight bonds in small groups, taking on a flight buddy to keep them company. This is an area backstage called the Relief. This is where the macaws come when they're not performing in front of the public. This is they can chill out, get some uh, peanuts and... Macaw pellets here, and generally just prepare for the next show. All right, they're coming in. Instead of thinking of it as a risk to let valuable birds out, keepers think of it as enrichment, a way to give the macaws exercise. You know, half a mile sounds like a really long distance for us, but in the wild, actually, they'd fly seven, ten miles a day just one direction to find food or wherever they live. So flying is in these guys' blood. They also have no natural predators in the Midwest, and they get a high level of care that includes weighing them every other day to make sure they're not gaining or losing weight. These macaws could be at the zoo for up to 80 years, making generations care about protecting them and other wild birds. To be in awe of how beautiful they are is a big thing, but that hopefully leads people to understand the importance of protecting macaws, but also birds here in Indiana. Meaning that your children and grandchildren may be bringing their kids here to see Stella, Royal, and Siraj, and the rest of the flock. We're giving them exercise every day. They're getting a really healthy, balanced diet. Um, all those things combined mean that they are on track to live a great, healthy life. And weather permitting, the macaws will be making appearances every day at the zoo through September 13th. Mm -hmm. And they're going to head back to Orlando this winter for some more training. But after that, they'll return to Indianapolis permanently and spend the cold months off of display. Now, just to give you an idea of how friendly and, and curious these birds are, take a look at this. I took this photo. This is a blue and yellow macaw that surprised our photographer, Matt Wisner, when he was shooting video. <laughs> See, so now they're cute. buddies. Now they've come together. <laughs> they became friends. Aww. and. Uh, Get a little more comfortable with each other and not let the bird walk around on his camera. Now, but they, where's the picture in the video of you letting the macaws do that on, on <laughs> your well, I, let them, I let them walk around on my hand. You know, they're very comfortable with people. Obviously, in the wild, they would yeah. not be. But these have been with humans from the time they were hatched yeah. from eggs. Wow. Mm. So they're very comfortable with humans, and they you know, they like they like the people. They like, they like people. going out to see the people. Well, we love the color. We were like, we like the red. <laughs> oh, no, wait, but the green is pretty, too. Oh, and the blue one is, yes. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Yes, they're fantastic. all gorgeous. What